but I know Joey Hines. <laughs> oh. And the maybe four. <laughs> I'm not going to say what I want to say because it's within the first 10 minutes of a YouTube video, <laughs> but Joey, you know what I'm thinking. This video is brought to you by Potato Parcel. Yes, you heard that right. We'll hear more about them later. For now, let's get on to today's video. Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to uh, local music and the people that make it, including me and my guest. And my guest today is a singer-songwriter that I met on Instagram. He's a proud parent, photographer, and a musician finding his way through life. His D debut EP, Accountability, is uh, out now, actually. And I've done a review of it. Keep an eye out for that. Make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss out on that. Uh, please welcome to the channel, Rick Barnes. Say hi. Thanks for having me. And sir, may I be the first to welcome you? Absolutely. To room six. Thank you. Clink. Mm. Room six whiskey. We also have a little bit of the grappa de Moscato. We'll, we'll get into that. <laughs> so, number one, how did you find me online? What, what made you reach out to me? Uh, it's a funny story. Okay. So I know Joey Hines. <laughs> oh. And the maybe four. I'm not going to say what I want to say because it's within the first 10 minutes of a YouTube video, but Joey, you know what I'm thinking. You know his trick, right? His, his, yeah. His yeah. merchandise. Yes. Yes. Very convenient. Maybe four has been on the channel, of course, and, and each yeah. member individually has been on the channel. Thank yeah. you, guys. Yeah. Uh, but what got me to you was I was out downtown one night, mm -hmm. and I ran into, I forget his name, but he's in the band The Wheelchair. Wheelchair Mosh Pit. Wheelchair Mosh Pit. Did he yeah. have a mohawk? Yeah, that guy. After Jared, yes. Jared, yes, Jared. Me and Jared had a crazy night together. <laughs> that's Jared. And then he got yep. kick, kicked out of the bar. That's and, Jared. And that's how well, actually, that's Alfredo, who's also in the band. But anyway, <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, he told me to contact you. Because we were awesome. talking about music and stuff. Because I was like, he just looks like a punk rock guy. And I'm like, cool. I'm a going concern. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, yeah, I... It is cool to hear that, like people actually are suggesting me, which is weird. Yeah. You know, you do a thing and you just hope people like it and suddenly it becomes this this thing that people are like, no, no, you, you should go on his show because we have a good time, I like to think. Yeah. Yeah. So we told him, I was like, oh, I thought you just like randomly pick people. So. Well, at the beginning. You were. Oh, okay. It was, okay, who do I know? Because I did music in this town for over a decade, uh, mm -hmm. original music, uh, indie rock type stuff. And so I started reaching out to them. And I was like, so I'm doing a thing. Would you be interested in it? And surprisingly, yes. Some people said yes. And then I started seeing uh, people would post flyers online, you know, like they still do. Mm -hmm. And I would say, well, okay, I know that person. So let's reach out to everybody else on the bill. Because they must know that other act. Right. Come to find out, not always the case. You do a lot of shows where you don't know anybody on the bill. And you meet that time, at that, 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 that night. Um, but it, it opened the door and to this day, whenever I, if you see me at a show, I'm taking photos and I'm getting video, but I'm also there to talk to the acts that I don't know mm -hmm. and, and line up interviews and, um, reviews, but also to, you know, kind of, it's my way of saying, Hey, thanks for coming on the channel. Here's me supporting you. So right. let's, uh, what do you say? A little bit of, a little bit of grappa. Yeah, yeah. And, um, you know what though, before we do this. We're going to take a quick little break here. And now, a word from our sponsors. Thanks, Josh, from the past. You know what I love? Surprise gifts. You know what I really love? Gifts that are clever, unexpected, and most of all, edible. But what the heck? Let's throw someone's face on it while we're at it. Potato Parcel is a service that allows you to send anyone a personalized message on a potato. Thinking of sending a birthday? Congrats. Get well soon card? This is a quirky and hilarious alternative to the traditional card. Your friends, family, and others will get a kick out of it. Just for watching this video, and for a limited time only, you can use my affiliate link down in the description to get 10% off your order by entering the coupon code TAKE10 at checkout. Plus, you'll be helping out the channel. Thanks to Potato Parcel for being a sponsor, and let's get back to today's show. Cool. Um, real quick, I want to talk about you a little bit before we get into kind of my more usual interview questions. You went from Oregon to L.A. to Vegas to Washington to New York to Washington back to Vegas? Yeah, I grew up in Washington State, up in uh, Tacoma, Washington. Ah. Uh, the home and the creator of 
The Toyota Tacoma, if you didn't know, that's a fun fact. That's where it comes from. I was going to make a joke, and you, you beat me to it. Good job. <laughs> yeah, and I moved to Eugene, Oregon shortly after high school, and then I went to, I have a funny, Oregon, Washington, L.A., Washington, right. Nevada. Well, and then I went to New York for like six months to help a family friend, and then back. I thought it was funny, like, you were in Vegas, and then you left. You got out. And yeah. You came back. <laughs> Got back because upstate New York is so cold. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It gets. I mean, it gets chilly in the desert. A lot of people who don't live here don't know. Oh, yeah. In the desert, it gets cold at night in the winter. Yeah. Oh hell's yes. But um, during, uh, of course, during the summer, yeah. it's stupid hot. But um, yeah, we have lots of friends up in uh, the Tiger Tiger area in Oregon. Oh okay, yeah. And we we want to move in that area so bad, but you know our kids got three years left of high school. It right. would be kind of a crime to like uproot her and be like, okay, right. figure it all out again. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Tiger's nice though. I've been there. That's what we hear. And uh, it's just weird how so many of our friends from Vegas moved. Well, it started with one person moving up there, or I think there were a couple, and uh, moved to, to there. And suddenly, all our friends were just moving up there. Uh-huh. I was like, what's going on? Why the mass exodus? It's, it's a nice area. So. I was literally two weeks away. Tangent. I was literally two weeks away from, uh, I was on unemployment. Our kid was just about to start the, the school, like, like j- still in preschool or, uh, or uh, kindergarten rather, just about like uh-huh. we need to find a place. And I'm afraid that Vegas, Nevada in general, the public schools are not oh, ideal. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're uh, 49th, yeah. not last. Um, but we were literally this close to, I was going to go and stay on some a friend's couch and try to find work up there and, and, and uh, bring the family once I found something. And then my kid got uh, into a charter school that's college prep from literally kindergarten through, right. through, you know, graduating high school. And it's called a Coral Academy of Math and Science. Oh, and wow. it's a lottery to get into it. And we, we got in. And so we're like, well, guess we're staying. Right. And here we are. Yeah. Wow. Fascinating story, Josh. Really. Get back to the music. Yeah. So uh, I want to talk earliest musical influence. Now I I have reviewed your album. It's acoustic based. Yeah. Obvious. You know, there's certain just inherent uh, influences there. But I want to talk. What's your earliest musical influence? What is that one that you're like? I want to do that. And that led you down. So this path. It's funny. It was a church talent show. Ooh. I was like five. And uh, oh, and, <laughs> and I did lip sync, mm-hmm. Elvis Presley. We ain't no oh. friend of mine. Oh, <laughs> and uh, that like got me hooked of like the stage performance. And like, I was five, so of course, the crowd is you know, they're, they're extra hyped because I'm because I'm a little kid, uh-huh. but I just remember that like I loved how the crowd re- reacted to my you know, what the actor WC Fields always said, never. Uh, never perform, never compete with children or animals. You'll lose every time. <laughs> Something like that. So, cool. Yeah. So um. Like... Oh, I didn't do this proper. Oh. Welcome to room six. <laughs> hmm. Got to get the clink in there. So, um, from there I wanted to to pivot, like yeah. Ross on Friends. Pivot. I wanted to um swing over to. How long have you been performing your original music? Um, I started, what, three years ago, maybe? I don't know why you're asking me. Yeah, yeah, no. That's why I asked the question. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, three years. And I took a year off last year, last October. Well, Mm -hmm. two years ago now. Okay. I did my last show with Hal Saver. Savar? Savar, sorry. Yes. Sorry, Hal. It's okay. Wait, now you say you did a show with him. You were yeah. on a showcase, or uh, on a show on his uh, songwriter showcase? Where? Up at Mount Charleston. That's why I haven't met you because I don't know if you know this. He's at Soul Belly Barbecue now, doing yeah. it once a month. It used to be every week, and but I'm. Um, he was on the show, and uh, another tangent. <laughs> and he reached out to me. He's like, "Hey, so I'm doing this thing, and I'm going to be at the Artisan, and they're wanting me to do it like every week." Right. Would you like to come live stream it, do a review of each show, 
and you can also talk to musicians about you know, doing interviews. And I was like, eh, sure, let's go. And it and that started this thing where now I've I, I got so many interviews out of that. But now every single showcase is a reunion of room six people who, who <laughs> they're either going to be on the channel or they have been on the channel, mm-hmm. and it's 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 hilarious. But it's also cool for me because it's more content for me, obviously. Right. But it's also helping the local scene, which is the whole point of the channel, is to help grow awareness of the local scene because musicians are terrible at promoting themselves. I, I was the same. And there's nobody, and there's really no presence on YouTube for it. So I was like, okay, yeah, this sounds like a cool thing. It just means another night, you know, I'm away from the family, but you do what you got to do. Yeah. But I never got up to Mount Charleston for it. Oh, okay. And, and how was always kind of, we were like Facebook friends, we were on each other's radar a little bit. Uh-huh. And then one day he reached out to me for an interview and I was like, yes, <laughs> why haven't I, why didn't I do this? Right. So that's, that's, it's, it's worked out really well. Thank nice. you, Hal. And, uh, that when you said that though, I was like, I haven't seen you at any of the showcases, <laughs> but that's why. So yeah, anyway, I, I did one and then I was like, one and done, one and done. And, uh, I was like, I need to write new, better music. So I took a whole year off mm-hmm. and wrote, I'm writing this, the EP that dropped and then I'm, there's an album that's going to be coming out this summer. So I'm working on that. So I wanted to do the EP and then, well, you know, you know, no we're, music uh, until the, yeah. the album drops. So. You know how to reach out to me when, if you uh, need yeah. another review. Absolutely. Cool. Um, we're going to take a quick break. We're back. And uh, I think you have some merch to show off, don't you? Oh, yeah. Some brand new merch here mm. from Rick Barnes Music. It's too small to be a t-shirt. <laughs> right, right. Right on. So here, I'll put a picture on on the screen. Nice. Rick Barnes Music. Yeah. Are they the cutting? They cut? Nope. You got to peel the corner. Come on. Man. Sure. I'm Come just on. kidding. All right, yeah. Right. I haven't even opened them yet. <laughs> Can you do it? Oh, no. One of them fell. Look at that. Just Perfect. staring at us. <laughs> right on. So, moving on. How many... No, no, sorry. What would you say is your favorite show memory performing? Well, it could be good, it could be bad. Right. Yeah. You know. Um, probably my... Surprisingly, one of my first ones. It was an open mic at Office 6. Fair. It's a bar. Oh, um, oh off, the office. Off, the chain yeah. of... Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta work late at the office, huh? Yeah. yeah. Off of six. Really? Yeah. It's off of Tropicana and like Eastern area. Oh, I know that one. Yeah. I mean, I haven't been in, but I've driven by it many times. Yeah. It's dark. It's dark. That's <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. Good nice. time there. Nice. I had a lot of people come out to that one. Speaking so, of which, make sure you stick around. We're going to be seeing him play upstairs in room six, a couple songs, and off the uh, both of them off the EP. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. You'll want to hear that, and then you, you then you can you know get the EP and, and compare. All right. So, uh, what was uh, you were were you all done with that or? Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. So, quiet on the set. <laughs> I swear these these union people, man. <laughs> it's okay. We can edit it out. No. 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 Just keep it all in. <laughs> Certain things I keep in. You should hear when the dog wants to uh, communicate. It's oh. hilarious. I have to figure out what she's what she's saying and put you know quotes on the screen. Apparently, she hates Alicia Keys. I don't oh. know what that's about. Wow. What? Uh... I must have a visitor. <laughs> Look, you don't, just because yeah. Chloe, just because you don't like Alicia Keys. Okay. Diva, I swear. <laughs> All right. So, anywho, what do you have um, show-wise? Do you have anything lined up coming up? No, not yet. I was just talking with my guitarist, talking about doing shows. So, probably, probably, probably hit up Hal and see if I can get on a, a showcase. Okay. Well, uh, I know that the one at Soul Belly is is once a month, but he, it, it's possible something's coming that's going to be a weekly thing again, mm-hmm. like another location, of, right. that, a, a second one. And that'll be awesome, but um, we'll see. Watch this. Watch this page. Um, right on. A couple more questions. And then we're gonna get to the performance. You mentioned your guitarist. Mm-hmm. 
You don't have a full band yet, correct? No, it's just been me for right. a number of years. Carry in the weight, shoulder in the uh, burden. Yeah, uh, and I just brought on my my good friend Heron. Mm. Uh, he Wait, Heron what? Rodriguez. I feel like I know that name. Cost me ten bucks. <laughs> But um, so what's the, what's the story there? Are you are you planning on eventually getting a full band, or are you going to stay? I mean, the, the, I like to the but dynamic duo for a while. Probably just a duo for quite a bit. I don't, no, there's so, nothing wrong with that. There's certainly nothing wrong with that, especially if you're in this day and age with um, you know TikTok and, and Instagram, and you can totally put out music just you, and still show like you can have the whole song playing. It's kind of nice, right? Um, that is, that, is, that is lovely. It's growing. <laughs> Speaking of which, if you want to be on the show, whether reviewed, interviewed, or both, hit me up using my email address down in the description or click the Rumsex social media link so that you can find me online. That's also where you'll find ways to support the channel, like buying merch at rumsex.shop, buying a couple of my own CDs, or become a patron on Patreon. It all helps me make better videos, and also I have some things in the works that require some money, that I can't quite foot the bill myself. So you'll be helping me help the local scene. Back to you. <laughs> How's the weather? No, just kidding. So last question. You made it. Yay. All right. I asked this of all my prey. Let's pretend we're talking to Little Rick. Okay, Little Ricky. Back to that earlier question, the first question where I said earliest musical influence. Mm -hmm. What would you say, what is something you wish someone had told you when you started getting into music. And, and don't say change your strings. Oh. <laughs> okay, we're gonna talk to new musicians right there. This camera, this camera, this camera. No, I wish I would have picked up a, an instrument sooner, like, you know, a lot younger. Right. So I've done a lot of vocals my whole life. Played a little piano in high school. And everybody. <laughs> used to play at church, so. And then, yeah, and then Heron, my guitarist told me to pick up a guitar. Oh, really? And so I okay. picked up one from a pawn shop. It was uh, nylon strings. That was my first. So you got, <laughs> I had no idea what I was your doing. Your fingers got tough. <laughs> yeah. And now I play, you know, steel. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Uh, just wish I learned how to play soon. Uh, cool. So, new musicians, if you're thinking about it, don't wait. Yeah. Or new, new wannabe musicians. Just do it. Don't wait. Yeah. It, it's, it doesn't get any easier. But time is a great uh, educator. So yeah. awesome. Thank you very much for coming on the channel. Thank you very much for watching. Stick around. We're going to see his performance upstairs. And um, yeah, I guess we'll temporarily say goodbye. <laughs> temporarily say goodbye. Yes. Hi, Rick Barnes here. This is a song called Bottle Out of Time. It's on my debut album, Accountability. The song is uh, about a man who drank too much and lost everything. This was uh, co-wrote with me and my good friend Michael McKenzie. Hope you enjoy. Looking at old photographs Reflecting on old trouble past Remembering the good times And the bad Remembering all your laughs And all your fears Watching everyone I loved back then Drifting away a bottle at a time. What I do to get it all back. I was country boy rich, I had a wild picket fence with a good looking woman. With a baby on her hill And I pull that bottle down the drain And I pull out my heart And 
speak my truth to the ones who truly gave a damn. Miss my life, miss my wife, miss the ones who drifted away. Could light up a room back then before the glass of whiskey. Don't miss the eyes staring back from the mirror. I had that country boy dream through. What I do get it all back. I was country boy rich and a wild picket fence. A good looking woman with a baby on her heel. I pull that bottle down the drain and I speak my truth to the one who. Gave a damn. Let the whiskey come between us. Lost the house, lost the car, and then I lost you. Get it all back. I pulled. I was country boy rich. Had a wild pig fence. Good looking woman with a baby on her heel. And I pull that bottle down the drain. Pour out my. Hi, Rick Barnes, singer-songwriter. This song right here is called Blacked Out. Uh, it's about a buddy of mine, bless his heart. Uh, he knows about the song. He's okay with it. He enjoys it. Hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, it's just about, you know, another drinking song, another, another country. So I hope you enjoy this one. That bottle consumes your whole world. We all hate the bottle you love so much. You don't need the devil's poison. Shot at the shot, fill them up, fill them up, throw them 
back, going back, back out. Can't help you. You can't help yourself. It's been a while since I've seen your face. It's been longer since you've seen your kids. Oh, held them tight. You missed it all. First words, first steps, for words, for the love of the bottle, are you really that lost, kiss your bottle goodbye. Peer pressure got you by the throat Shot at the shot, fill them up, fill them up Throw them back, throw them back, blacked out Can't help you You can't help yourself Pour that bottle down the same new friends peer pressure got you by the throat shot at the shot fill them up fill them up throw them back throw them back back down I want to thank Rick Barnes for coming on the channel. It was a great interview and a great performance. If you want to know more about him, go ahead and follow down in the description, his social media, and uh, while you're down there, please feel free to hit me up if you want to be on the channel, whether reviewed or interviewed or both. In the meantime, if you want to see more videos like this, click up here. If you'd like to subscribe, go ahead and click up there, I think. And if you want to check out my own music, go ahead and click that uh, little uh, Eye of Sauron looking thing over there. Remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time on Room 6.